if you want to go into project management, you know, your certifications are, are fantastic or needed, right? I would say your PMP is great, but right now, if I were to hire someone, I would look at your CSM, right? So I, I would rather you get your agile experience first because the PMP is fantastic, but it's, it's a longer lift, right? And then also your Salesforce certs, right? Because then you're showing, you, you are showing, you, so let's take a step back. You're doing two things. You're getting your foundation of Salesforce, getting to know the actual platform, but you're also showing Salesforce that you're investing, right? You are also investing in yourself. So you're coming to the table and saying, I know your platform. But that being said, that's your table stakes, right? If I look at someone's resume, I look at three, three things. I look at, you know, their Salesforce certs, um, PM certs. I look at their consulting experience because we are consultancy, right? It's very different to be an internal project manager than external because, you know, clients are tough. Um, and the third is soft skills, right? So I will tell you that item and people's personalities, how they engage sometimes cannot be learned, right? It can be mentored but it can't be, sometimes cannot be learned. So I just, I, you know, I just, I hope that was a good over, you know, I was trying to give you an overview of what I, what, what the role is and what the expectations are as well. So. Um. Yeah, that's great. And, and, you know, speaking as, as a, um, a former military officer, one of the things that is ingrained into us as we get ready to retire is, oh, you got to get your PMP, you know, and, and there's really never any reason why, like people are like, oh, well, everyone's getting it. You should get it. So of course I got it. Um, but to Anastasia's point, I mean, that's waterfall, right? So if you're not familiar yeah. with the difference, you know, waterfall is, is for large, fairly stable projects that go through the 12, you know, program areas, and they're the same every time. And that method fails miserably when put in a software development environment like Salesforce, where you need to be iterative and to have, you know, agile principles. I would ask Anastasia, like, so you mentioned CSM, uh, Certified Scrum Master. Um, what, what, there's obviously other agile yes. um, certifications out there. Is is CSM preferred by Salesforce or does it matter as long as you have some agile cert? It's a good question. So because um, so Scrum Alliance is a well known. It's it's a lighter lift where you can take a course, learn a lot about it. Um, that is not a preferred choice. It's just one that is actionable when you have a heavy plate. The other one you can look into, if you want a PMI certified course, they do have the ACP, right? And that's also fantastic. So when I was reviewing my, my resources that we, we, we acquired looking at their certifications, you know, I'm not gonna, you know, I, I actually told people, okay, they don't have the CSM, but they have the, you know, they have the PMI equivalent. So CSM is an example. It's probably the most well-known but if you prefer a different route, as long as it's a strong credited program, it would be accepted by Salesforce. Gotcha. So. 